for our next performer, if you are listening on BBC Radio 1, uh, remember you can watch it on the red button and online, uh, we need you to tweet us. The hashtag is fun and filth. We need a subject, any subject in the world, tweet us. Fun and filth is the hashtag because this next guy is incredible. His brain is like a bank of jokes. He has a joke on absolutely everything yeah. in the world and we're going to test him. Absolutely, but we need your tweet. So at BBC R1, hashtag fun and filth, any subject of the world, as we welcome to the Fun and Filth Cabaret, the very, very brilliant Mr. Tim Vine. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm a friend of your parents. Let's hear it for the Edinburgh Festival, ladies and gentlemen. What an incredible event. Isn't it wonderful? Um, do you know, I, I had a friend who was always taking a mickey at me for having a pay-as-you-go phone. He was always going, you've got a pay-as-you-go phone, you've got a pay-as-you-go phone. So eventually I took out a contract and I had him killed. <laughs> I'm on for two hours. Now, um, but the Edinburgh Festival, what an incredible place. And, and, the, and the Olympics been great, he said, trying to find a subject you could think of a joke about. I, I went to the sports shop. He said, have you still got swing ball? I said, no, it's cleared up. I went to Alcoholics Anonymous, I said, I can't stop gambling. He said, you want Gamblers Anonymous? I said, you're probably right, I'm so drunk as I where I am. <laughs> it's just for the people on the red button, that one. Actually, I, um, I, uh, here's one for the red button. I was, um, I, I was outside and, uh, and this bloke came up to me and he was like, he was, he was like that. He said, he said, I'm having trouble. Um, if you listen to this on the radio, I'm doing a really hilarious mime. Um, <laughs> He said, I'm having trouble getting into your show. I said, well, I'm sure I can sort out a ticket for you. He said, I thought it was, I thought it was sold out. I said, uh, I said, yeah, but there's always room for the odd person. <laughs> so I went to the doctors. I said, whenever I pass from one country to another, I have to get drunk. He said, you're borderline alcoholic. <laughs> I said, I've got a rash. He said, I'll be as quick as I can. I said, I've got a heart complaint. He said, murmur, I said, I'm going to hug <laughs> Now, we've all heard the theory that people look like their pets. Well, tonight I'm going to test that theory out. You, sir, have you got a llama? <laughs> just so you know, whoever's sitting there, I always say, have you got a llama? I just got lucky tonight. <laughs> so it's strange, isn't it? You stand in the middle of a library and go, ah, 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 and everyone stares at you. Do the same thing on an aeroplane, everyone joins in. And you can't get a job as an airline pilot if your name is Jack, because you walk into the cockpit, the co-pilot says, hi, Jack, and everyone starts screaming. <laughs> you also can't get a job as an airline pilot if your name is Ivor Hangrenade. <laughs> so I was in this airport, I said to this woman, I said, buk -a, buk -a, buk -a. she said, no, sir, this is the check-in desk. <laughs> but you'll be glad to know that, um, it's nearly over, but you'll be glad to know, <laughs> I've, um, I've, got, I've got a new job. Yes, I'm helping out a one-armed typist whenever she wants to do capital letters. <laughs> it's shift work. <laughs> I was expecting a bigger laugh there, but never mind. Um, but I went to the computer shop. I said, whenever I plug in my laptop, it overheats. He said, that's not a laptop. I said, George Foreman Bar and Grill. <laughs> Just the one woman at the front laughing, but that's, uh, that's the story of my life. Now, um, exit signs, they're on the way out, aren't they? So I went to the dentist, he said, say ah. I said, why? He said, my dog's died. <laughs> and most dentist chairs go up and down like that, don't they? The one that I was in was going backwards and forwards. I thought, this is unusual. And my dentist said, Mr. Vine, get out the filing cabinet. <laughs> so I went back to the doctors. I said, whenever I pass from one country to another, have I done that, have I done that one? Have I? Oh, sorry, I've had a pint before I got here. <laughs> honestly, this is a late night for me. I tell you what, honestly. The Edinburgh Festival. But we have enjoyed the Olympics, haven't we? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. I've just taken part in the sun tanning Olympics. I got bronze. <laughs> I was playing tennis with a napkin. I said, don't serve yet. <laughs> so I saw a football match in Japan. At the end, they started doing martial arts. I said to the bloke next to him, I said, what's going on? He said, there's two minutes of ninjury time. He said, can you tell me your availability to run a football team in Sheffield? I said, I can't manage Wednesday. <laughs> so I went to the gym, I said, Mr. Nasium, I said, I said, can you teach me how to do the splits? He said, how flexible are you? I said, I can't make Tuesdays. <laughs> These are all still jokes. 
So I went to the nightclub and um, I said to this woman, I said, what's your name? She said, Chantel. I said, oh, go on. <laughs> but you know, the other day I had dinner with my boss and his wife and, uh, and it was a complete disaster. My boss's wife said to me, she said, Tim, how many potatoes would you like? I said, I've just had one. She said, it's all right, you don't have to be polite. I said, all right then, I'll just have one, you stupid cow. <laughs> And that's the end of my little slot there for you before we go to subjects. Is it time for subjects? Yes, it is. Tim right, Vine, everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Tim. Tim, is it, is it, would you say that you know a joke about every, uh, absolutely everything in the world, would you say? Every subject, could you do that? I can, pre I can pretend I could have a go. OK, well, we're going to have a go. We asked people at home uh, to tweet in uh, subjects, any subject in the world, and we're going to see if Tim here can do a joke about that subject. The first one on the big screen if it's, if is... <laughs> right. It's not on the big screen, it's just in my ear. Uh, it's the Sorry. Queen. The Queen. Jag you know, about the Queen, please. The, the Queen came up to me the other day and she said, she said, God save our gracious Queen. I said, you've changed your tune. <laughs> <laughs> they don't have to be good ones, do they? they just went, no, no they just have to be jokes. Yeah. Next you know one we're going to go, go for, yes. Tim. Yes. Cabbages. Cabbages. Well, it's funny you should say that, because I went to the butchers. Cabbages? <laughs> I went to the but no, I because we often do go to the butchers when we think of cabbages, don't we? Yes, of course we do. So I went to the butchers. Always. He said, I bet you ten pounds you can't reach those two bits of meat. I said, I'm not betting. He said, Why not? I said, the steaks are too high. It was good. Thank you. The lady didn't like that. Pardon? The I'm, next a, I'm one. actually on a special diet. I only eat things with the word special in it. Special, <laughs> the next K, one we're gonna have Tim Vine is course, ducks. Marks and Spencer's strawberry cream sponge cake. Sorry, special, ducks. special offer. Ducks! Oh, I, saw, I, was, I was in this Chinese restaurant and, uh, and this duck came up to me. He said, your eyes sparkle like diamonds. I said, waiter, I asked for aromatic duck. <laughs> <laughs> Not aroma. I like that. Are we gonna have one more for Tim? I'm getting reviewed. I like it, that's the review. That's Final it. one. Final one. From people tweeting in. Cabbages. Chocolate. Chocolate. Um, this, uh, this chocolate went past at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. It was a Ferrari Rocher. <laughs> <laughs> Ended on a good one. Scott Mills, any from the floor? Um, right, anyone from the audience? Anyone got one? Anything at all? Anything at all? What, what, what? Playing with kids. Pardon? What? Playing with kids. Playing with kids. That's not really a subject, that's a confession, isn't it? <laughs> Let's see if our guest hosts have got one. Emily, do you have a subject that Tim could make a joke about? Oh, um, washing machines. Washing machines. Um, well, you know, Prince came round the other day and, uh, and he said to me, he said, can you mend my washing machine for me? I said, sure. He said, what does that button do there? I said, that is the cycle formerly known as rinse. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Wright. Don't ask me why, but I love drafts, so please make a joke about one. Well, I, um, you love drafts. What, you mean the, the, the gentle breeze draft or the game? No, the animal drafts. Oh, oh giraffes! giraffes. <laughs> <laughs> that was... Which, uh... <laughs> well, you stuck your neck out there, Mark. Um, <laughs> I was, if, when you said, I thought you said drafts, the game because <laughs> I, I do have a joke about, I, the other day, a chess set, and it was horrible, I took it back to the shop, I said, that's stalemate. <laughs> <laughs> he said, are you sure? I said, checkmate. <laughs> um, Tim Vine, yes. thank you so much. Edinburgh, make some noise, Tim Vine. <laughs>